Hey everyone, you are watching Tech Timeout and in today's video, we will solve this problem that's called page recommendations. The link to the problem will be in the description, so feel free to check it out. However, you need premium subscription to be able to access this problem. No matter, you can still watch the video and follow through. So we have a table that's called friendship. It has columns user1 ID and user2 ID. User1 ID, user2 ID is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table indicates that there is a friendship relation between user1 ID and user2 ID. And another table, likes. It has columns, user ID and page ID. User ID, page ID is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table indicates that user ID likes page ID. So write an SQL query to recommend pages to the user with user ID equals one using the pages that your friends liked. It should not recommend pages you already liked. Return result table in any order without duplicates. The query result format is in the following example. So we have a friendship table. It has user ID one, user ID two. So one is friends with two, three, four and six. So one could be either user one ID or user two ID. So, yep. And the likes table here, user one has liked page 88, two has liked page 23 and so on. Now the pages you are going to recommend to user ID one will be 23, 24, 56, 33, 77, because these are the pages that have been liked by user ID 2, user ID 3, user ID 4, and user ID 6. However, even if the friends liked page ID 88, we are not going to recommend it to user ID 1 because he or she has liked that page already. So 88 is excluded from this list. You can pause the video and read up this part. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I am going to select page ID because eventually that would be the result. So select page underscore ID and we are going to alias this as recommended page from likes L join friendship on now either user one id could be one or user two id could be one because we saw that one is present in both of these columns so what i'm going to do here is user one id could be one or user two id could be one and user one id could be present in user id or user two id could be present in user id because you see here that two three and four are in present in user id two but six is present in user one id right so what you are going to do is we'll copy this paste it here but in place of one it's going to be user id Similarly here, okay. And the page ID should not be the page ID corresponding to user ID one. So page underscore ID not in select page underscore ID from likes where user underscore ID equals one. And finally, while we are doing this, let us have a distinct because we don't want any duplications. All right. Okay, something wrong here. Oh, from likes 
I missed the S there. Okay. Great. So it just beat 23.7% of other submissions. It was better the last time when I ran the same query. Um, doesn't matter. So this was a medium level problem. So if you were able to solve this on your own, congratulations. If not, please don't be discouraged. This was a tricky problem. And yep, please keep practicing, get better, all the best. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a great day. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get instant updates. More videos coming up. Stay tuned.